We are back and ready for another round one knockout for Matcha Madness. We made it all the way up to battle number 11. Today we will be pitting Matcha Semidori from Rishi Tea up against Organic Aichi Matcha from Upton Tea. So let's get him brewed up and we'll meet back here. See you then. Okay, we are all brewed up and ready to taste now. I will say that while I was doing the uh, aerating, I was getting a kind of uh, a wooden cinnamon smell coming off of the Aichi. I don't know if we'll pick that back up as I go through this, but I just thought it was interesting. You can also see visually this is a bit more of a, a vibrant green, a deep emerald, where this is more of a darker undertones, more of that like a brown and green mix. Let's smell the uh, Semidori. There's a, a quick hit of just kind of general chlorophyll vegetalness and then it just sort of subsides into sweet spring water. If you try and go looking for more then that's where I don't really find anything but if you take a minute let your senses kind of readjust and then come back to it for the first time then you get a nice hit of brothy greenness. Try the Aichi Matcha. Yeah there's it's a weird it's like cinnamon, but not cinnamon. It's more like a woody cinnamon. I guess I like the smell. I don't know if it'll translate well into the taste, but the smell, that kind of woody cinnamon. I'm trying to see if there's some sort of chlorophyll -y, vegetal something kind of hiding behind it. By go searching it, and then it becomes more of a, a sweet cinnamon. I don't really get much greenness, surprisingly enough. All right, let's give them a taste. Cheers. Definitely has got an astringent finish, but it's a very soft, creamy, smooth, zucchini kind of flavors to start with. It's not really bitter, it's it's kind of an intense astringency that kind of has undertones of bitterness, but I wouldn't say it's actually bitter itself. It's kind of a weird middle ground there. It's that bittersweet kind of thing going on, sort of accentuated by that astringency. One of the most pronounced astringent matchas in the battle thus far. Try the Aichi. Yeah, it's kind of got that wooden, woody, astringent flavor going on, like uh, maybe the processing, they didn't quite get all the stems and veins out when they were processing the Tencho. This is an easy one. I'm not a really big fan of the Saichi. It's not, it's not terrible, but it's not one that I would buy again, which is rare for this battle so far. The Semidori is a, a far superior matcha in my opinion. So it's the clear winner of this battle, which makes our bracket look more like this now. And I can tell you more about the organic Aichi Matcha from Upton Tea. This comes in the 30 gram container. It's that uh, interesting one that has that peel back tab with no internal baggie containing the matcha powder itself. Comes in at $29.75, just sneaking it under that $1 per gram, giving you $0.99 cents per gram. The origin being Aichi Japan. and. Upton Tea, known for their perfunctory descriptions, reads as follows. From Aichi Prefecture, this organic matcha offering produces a superlative dark jade cup with a pronounced vegetal character and full mouthfeel, packed in a small matte silver tin. Not a whole lot to go off of. And I would say, between the two, the Semidori is a far more jade color, a much more inviting looking cup of matcha as well. Upton Tea not really giving me a lot to work with in this battle, but uh, that's what it's all about. So I will see you tomorrow for battle number 12. See you then.